In this slide, I've got a picture that's one of my favorite mental model confrontational tools. Uh, I've done plenty of turnarounds where I've gone in and said, look, I don't know what went on before, but I assume that more or less uh, everybody kind of got into the game of, of somebody is king around here. And there are other people who have been here for a long time and know how to play politics and sort of suck up and the sense for back pocket kisser. In other words, uh, kiss my ring, it's in my back pocket. So it's a sort of a, a nice way of saying, you know, somebody who kisses somebody's rear ear, rear end. And then they're, you know, the bottom 80% of the payroll are just down here trying to, you know, do what they're doing, get paid, you know, not much. And they're kept in the dark and they just show up and shut up. And, and, and as long as they're better than Charlie, the, the, uh, the, uh, the coaster, uh, that's job security. And nobody really is, everybody talks about, oh, the customer, customer, customer. But the truth of the matter, it's all about politics and, you know, saving your, your butt and, and looking good, stuff like that. As opposed to saying, all right, now what we're going to do is we're going to define our number one niche of most profitable customers, historically speaking. In this niche, the, there are five most profitable customers. There are five most important, you know, target gazelle accounts. There are five biggest losers who are going to turn lose-lose to win-win. We went out and talked to the customers. They gave us metrics, let's say the big eight of service excellence. Um, we're going to put them on the wall. We're going to look at the processes that generate these metrics. The whole we're going to process teams to figure out how to do it, because after all, it's the frontline employees who are making service happen every day or not. Meanwhile, management's going to run around, and we're going to get rid of some of these guys, frankly, because who needs to pay the babysitters? I'd rather give higher wages to frontline associates for making stuff happen. Then we run and run around and be an enabler. What do you need to make the big eight happen to take care of the five, five, five? And let's dominate the, this number one niche of customers. And we'll pick a second niche and go after that. Um, SL for situational leadership describes that different associates are at different levels of mastery and therefore need more or less coaching. And I can't sort of teach everybody the same way. So I've got to sort of tune my coaching. And that gets across the idea of the, the monthly mastery uh, report, where some people really run with it and some people struggle, and we may even have to price them, uh, you know, but th that, that just shows uh, that uh, different, different speeds for different people. So that's a, a key way of, of shifting our mental model. Realize that this is a game that may be going on. We got to name it, say it's okay, no problem. Takes everybody to play this game in a sense. We're all complicit in it. But now we're going to move to a new game, and it, it means that we have to be adults, partners, and we've got to be problem solvers, and we've got to make the service happen. And I'm looking to management now to be coaches to help me as needed. Thank you.